In this video, Google Slides custom pointer for perfect presentations using custom cursor for Chrome. On screen are three examples and I would argue that the subtitle should be what is the point, literally what is the point of making different pointers. So at the moment that I'm moving up and down is a custom pointer or cursor that I have made and I will show you how. So going over to the next slide, what we have is for Google Slides, normally what you get is a white normal, in my example, Windows pointer, very, very small, a laser dot again, which is pretty small. Yesterday's video from me featured a named as a color yellow big pointer. And you notice that I've chosen the whole slide pointing to this uh, label, which is system picker, which is from yesterday's video. Remember that if you are making a video that if people watch it on mobiles and you're using a pointing device, then you can see that on this mobile video, the big yellow triangle or arrowhead can be seen completely. So in my example for the custom, and, and it's, I know it's a pretty weird shape, but I've got my reasons, which I will, will talk to you about, is you can have the custom with no shadow, which is this one and this one, and also on the right, and I'm using it as almost like an underliner, a framer, and also an old fashioned pointer to the right. Let's move on a little bit. So if you are wondering, and I hope you are, using Google Chrome browser, we can use the custom cursor for Chrome, which you can find in the web store. And it looks like this. And on the right, when you open it up, which I'll do in a moment, you can have many, many things. You can see this one is some animals. This happens to be a wild deer. And you get two, you get the version, which is the pointer and then also the hover uh, for the click actions. In this example, cartoons and color. And there's my collection where I've made the set squares, which actually look a little like this. So in other words, what I've tried to do is use an old fashioned set square, which is in real life. If I was using a desk, I like to um, border things up and I like the right angle thing. And so I started off yesterday with two, which is an open set square, then a closed one. Again, when the mouse pointer on screen becomes active for clicking and I've added a shadow there. And this is what it looks like in the custom cursor thing. Um, when you're making them, it says upload your own cursors and they've got to be 128 by 128 pixels, which is the recommended. I've used Google Slides and then I've also set my page set up for Google Slides to be 128 by 128, then download them with a transparent PNG background, which we have just covered there cursor examples now. So what I'm going to do is quit the full screen. And then on the top right hand side, it says custom cursor for Chrome has access to this site. Once you click it, you've got a couple of um, options here that you can look at. One is the set, which is my collection animals, because my, my recent cartoons and color. And then what you can do is you can click them. And then immediately you can see that there is um, a Ninja Turtle activity happening. If you want to change things, and I'm just going to go back to the tip top left of the sword here is where they become active. And you can see that there is a wild deer here, a stag. And then if I click the size, I can dial this right the way down. Look very, very tiny all the way up. Let's leave it nice and big. OK, so that's the size of it. Settings itself will open up a page like this, which is managing your favorites and collections. And there are literally hundreds. The reason I said, what's the point is if you want to be fun and novel and gimmicky, that is fantastic. But when you are somebody like me, who's trying to make videos to help people learn, I'm just trying to get to this idea where it becomes useful. You can do a search as well. So if I went in there and I was doing um, a ball, you can see that you've got American football, you've got basketball, you've got volleyball by the looks of it, baseball and soccer or football as I know it and some for the holidays. That is it for that, apart from to say that very, very importantly, notice I've gone to the deer head at the moment. If I want to change it back to what I was using, which was my custom cursor for a set square, 
and that is that at the very very top I'm using Google Slides as forward slash preview if I go back to edit and this is very important if you're getting started on this and you want to say impress your class or whatever presentation you are doing if you go and I'm just waiting for this to load if I go up to present and when Google Slides opens up and starts to present you'll notice that I have jumped back to the standard Chrome cursor which happens to be the very very tiny thing. Can you see how small it is? And that is because what I've got to do is say edit slide present I've ended up typing preview on there covered this in an earlier video and then suddenly I'm back on the custom cursor that I'm using. So in conclusion, oh interesting one it's about let's go down a bit uh, done that one I don't mind you looking at these again because we've got cursor examples and to finish up the examples in this um, custom pointer or custom cursor could be used not only for Google presentation or Google slides presentation but screen recording anything inside Chrome the slide shows just as an example that I was looking at the Beatrix Potter Wikipedia page and then by reading say each paragraph can you see how it works I can actually start to frame up certain things if I want to look at a certain thing about um, December at a home at the age of 77 I can use this as a ruler I can start to point to things like Beatrix Potter's hat this works for Facebook pretty much any site that you actually wish to look at enough for me and once again, this is framed by Mike Downs.